People are drawn to the city of Savannah, Georgia for a variety of reasons, including its picturesque squares covered in Spanish moss, its supposedly haunted past, its upscale walk-ups, and its burgeoning culinary scene. Let us not forget about the local open container rule, which provides a fresh perspective on the eating and drinking experiences available throughout the city. Savannah is in the midst of a culinary revolution, which is reflected in a combination of classic and nouveau Southern cuisine. Savannah is a city where the past and the present come together in terms of ambience and experience. This video is about top 10 places to have dinner at Savannah, Georgia. Let us take a look at the Low Country's interpretation of contemporary food, from the must-haves to the hidden gems, and find out why this city has become such a popular travel destination in the southern United States. But before moving further, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel for more amazing videos. Number 10. Old Pink House Restaurant the remarkable old pink house can be found on the edge of a small square, and it exudes an atmosphere that is quintessentially southern due to the large columns, pink colors, and location on the edge of the square in which it is situated. It is a restaurant that almost demands to be photographed and is regarded as a tourist staple for everybody who is going to Savannah for the first time. Customers frequenting the restaurant maintain a low profile and chat in hushed tones, while using the several private dining rooms located inside the main area of the establishment. One feels as if they have gone back in time when they are on the lower level of Planter's Tavern. There, candlelight lights the walkway, and live music is performed on the piano. Number 9. The Collins Quarter The Collins Quarter is located in the heart of the city at the crossroads of Bull and Oglethorpe Streets. Exposed brick lines the inside of the institution, which also has a modern bar that runs down one of the sidewalls. The restaurant is well known for its all-day brunch, which begins at 9 a.m. and continues all the way until 3 p.m. and contains meals like Eggs Benedict and Bloody Marys. In the kitchen of this restaurant, Southern Custom and the entrepreneur's native Australian cuisine come together to provide a unique gastronomic experience. Brunch menus often include both time-honored favorites, such as avocado toast, and innovative takes on classic dishes, such as hash prepared with short ribs. Number 8. Vix on the River The upscale Savannah institution that is known as Vix has been in operation for a considerable amount of time. It has a commanding vantage point over the Savannah River. Huge windows and live piano performances take place once every week at the restaurant, which is one of the reasons why dining there is always a pleasure. On the menu, there is a selection of traditional dishes from the South, and patrons have the choice of ordering things like fried green tomatoes and crispy fish, among other dishes. In addition, the staff is sophisticated, constantly ready to serve, and well-skilled in the art of giving hospitality in a Southern style. They are ready to provide suggestions on wine compliments and desserts, all while ensuring that the pacing of your meal is just right. Number 7. Cotton and Rye the Cotton and Rye Restaurant is a modern American bistro that is housed in a former bank building. The entrance to the vault is still visible. It was one of the first dining establishments to operate outside of the upscale historical region, and it can be located in a neighborhood that is presently going through the process of regeneration. The restaurant bakes its own bread, grinds its own meat, and matches wine with each and every one of its meals. As a consequence, the whole menu reimagines classic foods from the South and presents them in new and interesting ways. If you are interested in determining how well the elevation works, you should definitely order the stuffed Carolina trout. Number 6. The Gray It is safe to say that The Gray is one of the most well-known and highly acclaimed restaurants in the whole city. There are a few relics left over from the Greyhound bus terminal that used to be situated in this area, such as an Art Deco-inspired neon sign that is one of the remaining structures. Chef Mashama Bailey shows respect for the state of Georgia, where she was born and raised by making traditional dishes from the area, such as quail, turnip soup, and collard greens. In the event that you are unable to acquire a reservation due to the fact that they are often full, the burger that is served at the bar is a well-kept secret that, almost, makes it worthwhile to forego the whole dinner experience. Number 5. 
Husk Savannah, on the recently renovated second floor of one of the most notoriously haunted mansions in Savannah is where Husk Savannah's dining room and bar can be found. The historic center of Savannah is home to the restaurant and bar known as Husk Savannah. The cuisine, on the other hand, is of the finest quality, which is something of a contrast to the gloomy mood. Christopher Hathcock, the head chef, is known for his creative reinterpretations of classic Southern foods. These recipes, which make use of ingredients procured locally wherever it is feasible to do so, have led to the development of a dynamic and ever-evolving seasonal cuisine. In addition, the service is quite attentive, and it follows a strict schedule. The meals are brought out at the appropriate time, but the patrons are never made to feel rushed in any way. Number 4. Flock to the Walk Flock to the Walk is the name of a new restaurant idea that was developed by Eel and the chef both of whom have extensive experience in the Savannah culinary scene. It may be found right smack dab in the midst of the Savannah Historic District on Whitaker Street. The ambience is hip, with a birdcage acting as the focus of attention in the dining area and a bar top allowing customers to see into the open kitchen. Dishes such as edamame gyoza, pork dumplings, and drunken noodles, which take influence from many different areas of Asia, provide diners who have had their fill of Southern cuisine and are looking for something new to try. The restaurant's menu draws inspiration from many different regions of Asia. Number 3. The Original Crab Shack Despite being located in a more rural area of Tybee Island, the Original Crab Shack serves some of the best seafood in the area. You will not be let down if you visit there. On your way into the restaurant, you could even cross an area where you can see alligators. The restaurant is the perfect location for a low country boil because of its tiki-inspired ambience and breathtaking lake views. Number 2. Sandfly Barbecue We would like to extend a warm welcome to visitors of the downtown location of Sandfly Barbecue, which is clearly distinguished by the railway car that has been deftly positioned in the center of the Victorian district. The little establishment that now occupies the space vacated by the old Sandfly restaurant may be found not far from Isle of Hope. There are just around 50 seats available, but they provide all of your favorite meat-based delicacies, such as Brunswick stew and pig served in a number of different ways. Sandfly is the only spot in Savannah that serves Memphis-style barbecue with a southern twist, and they do it better than anybody else. This kind of barbecue has completely taken over Savannah. Number 1. Noble Fair It is recommended that you come for the tasting menu, but stay for the atmosphere. The ordinary brick building that serves as Noble Fair's home serves as the backdrop for this little, off-the-beaten-path cafe, which is characterized by its gorgeous red curtains. The husband and wife duo of Patrick and Jenny McNamara, who started the restaurant, employ ingredients from the surrounding area to come up with an ever-changing menu that may include duck or filet mignon, for instance. The tasting, which comprises of seven dishes and pairings, is the perfect option for evenings to celebrate special occasions. The wait staff at this establishment are not only knowledgeable about the food, wine, and hospitality offered, but they are also very attentive and eager to please their patrons. Share your thoughts on where you would recommend dinning out below. Like this video if you found it informative and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more amazing videos like this one.